Within MNPRX, there are two ways to render. One of them is using the render tool, and the other one is using the target sequence renderer. So the viewport renderer, which is opened here with this icon, allows you to quickly save frame captures with uh, the viewport resolution or custom resolution in different qualities, alphas, and formats. And a quick play blast will simply create what it says, a quick play blast with a predefined quality setting. So how this works, uh, TAA is the highest quality, is temporal anti-aliasing. Once you hit render here, let's say I'm going to call this new render. Once you hit save, new render here. So as you can see here, the gate mask uh, is automatically removed and you'll have exactly the framing that you have planned in your shot. And since we're using TAA, you won't be seeing any, any pixelation there. It's going to be quite smooth in general. So that's how to save screenshots. But if you have an animation like this one, you'll probably want to save an entire sequence. And now this, for that, this tool exists, which is the target sequence render. And here you can define what targets you actually want to render. Now, as some of you may know, MNPRX handles a lot of different targets in the background that are processed and stylized on the fly so that you don't really get to see these individual targets, but you will get to see um, the output, the final stylization of it. Now, this tool here allows you to also export these targets if you wish to do so. So if you just want the normal output, then you just click on output target and then you can define again the quality, what kind of alpha you want and the format that you want, the resolution, the frame range and what camera views you can uh, or you want to render out. So you can also define here your own folder structure and so forth. So this is how you render individual image sequences, which in the end you can have looking like this, for example. I've already rendered this example. So you render it out as image sequences and then you can export or combine them in any software that you want to create the actual movie sequence. For this video, we are more interested in how we can render basically the targets that we use for the stylization to recreate the stylization also, for example, in Nuke. So how we do this is the tool by default will already have every target checked that is necessary to recreate the stylization in Nuke or in another compositing program as well. So once we have that, we define where we want to export this. We simply render the targets as EXR is very important because some AOVs have negative values or very large values as well that we need to take into account. Once you have that and render all the targets out, you will have all the AOVs here. And this is what you can load within Nuke to have your own stylization.